country, we are right now in the right path to get uh, integral policy to protect defenders. The Peruvian government uh, last year approved our national human rights plan, uh, including human rights defenders as uh, the, one of the 12 very important vulnerable groups uh, for Peru. And then in April this year, they approved our first uh, protocol to guarantee the protection for human rights defenders. They are working in a very uh, participatory approach uh, including defenders and also uh, human rights organizations to get them some feedback. They are not only fighting to defend their, their human rights, most of them are, are very brave leaders. They are defending uh, human rights not only for them but for the people they represent. They, yes, they know they, they have to continue their work. It's pretty obvious that we still need to work around advocacy for human rights defenders. Uh, the killings are the harassment is still happening around Latin America, South America, and also Peru, where I work. For us, is the result of uh, the bad work of our states or our uh, governments. I think in that we can do a lot of things at the international arena, and getting that for me is the most important reason to try to engage to UN uh, as a universal system and also to the inter-American system. Human rights defenders needs to be optimistic persons because it's the only way to continue their fights. If Peru continue in this in this path to, to try to get better policy and a solid legal framework, including defenders and organizations, we can be better than other countries that are implementing mechanisms to protect defenders. We have one big challenge to ensure that this, this mechanism really protect the environmental defenders and other human rights defenders in Peru. Other challenge that we have is the corruption. So we can ensure, really ensure that the mechanism protects gets to the, directly to the people who, who need that.